Good morning, sir. My name is Far Rosi, and my student's number is 18611033. In this video, I'm going to deliver the elaboration of what does a critical period for second language acquisition mean. Critical period is an essential phase to learn a second language because it is the phase when learning language is considered to be the most effective. The ability of acquiring a second language is declining around the age of 17. Critical period is representing the change in a behavioral skill as well as the ability of acquiring the second language. There is also a closing of biological window that affect the second language acquisition. So after the critical period, there is going to be a reduction in the effectiveness of learning a second language. To better understand critical period, Jensen suggests a framework distinguishing between neurobiological and behavioral views of the critical period. Performance improvement in different behavioral domains can be explained by de the development of neural support hardware. So a framework for examining neural changes alongside behavioral performance and it might be useful in analyzing the trajectory of a skills development. And by using this approach, it will elaborate what border skills might share similar neural and behavioral developments and so underline the changes in language-specific skills. And from the HTP's finding, the decline of second language learning ability is started at the age of 10 until the age of 12 years old. It is marking the end of the critical period. According to the HTP's finding, the conclusion is coming from the small amount of variation in task performance between a person who began learning second language in the first decade of their life. And a sharp decline of the critical period for second language learning is beginning around at the age of 17 years old. And from HTP's finding, the language task performance drops strictly in the late teens. Few other tasks such as reverse list, long-term memory for vocabulary knowledge, and had such drop-offs in performance, and most reduction seems to occur far later in life. <laughs> in HTP's finding, it is focused on three specific questions. First, why HTP's critical period closed so much later than those generally used in the language acquisition literature? Second, what role might be the decline of other border cognitive skills play in the decline of second language learning? And third, what model might best explain late close of HTP's critical periods? And there are two framework models to connect neural development with behavioral development. There are interactive specialization and neuroemergentism. And interactive specialization is the interaction between the regions of the brain that specialize in the behavioral part. Interactive specialization suggests that behavioral and neural developments are reciprocal process and over the time, regions and networks will become more specialized on their own. From the STP's critical period data, the interactive specialization framework would make a number of predictions. First, activity during second language syntax learning would become more specialized over the critical period, which is from the age of 10 until the age of 17 years old. And second, as the main region focuses more on behavioral, neighboring regions will maintain and refine related capabilities and the behavioral neural network will shrink. And the third, injured regions' ability in the brain would not be as readily adopted by other regions in later years of critical period as in earlier. Neuroemergentism combines the concept of a number of a different emergentist approaches to neurobehavioral development over the lifespan, including neuronal recycling, neural reuse, and neuroconstructivism. Uh, neuroemergentism provides a development framework to elucidate the specialization of regions and networks in the brain supporting new language skills and it is considered as individual development from a specific area to a specific large-scale skill. Interactive specialization and neuroemergentism develop from each other and their development is also getting more specialized. 
if there is a decrease in language skills at the age of 17, it means that the brain is no longer developed. And I think with that, I'm going to wrap up my el elaboration regarding the topic of critical period for second language acquisition. And I hope this video is informative. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.